Dia Mundu. We're just in the car park of Intermarche waiting for Sasha. She's withdrawing some money. Sweet stories in the back there. She's about to go to sleep, I think. Here comes Sasha, looking nice. Look at that hair. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Your hair looks really long. It is. Long, <laughs> long and pretty. We've been doing some research into what story she'll be eating and drinking and we're going to change her milk, her growing up milk, to a new type. So there's a health store in Vizel, we're going to go to a new one and check it out. The milk we were giving story is getting more difficult to come by now. So we want to find a milk that is of similar statistics, <laughs> nutritional wise, yet is more easier to come by so that we know we'll be able to buy it and they won't run out and that kind of thing. So that's why we're looking at a different milk. We've been talking for a while about getting soy off of soy products, if yeah. possible. And this is the first alternative we've found that's been recommended by a health professional. Yeah. So we're going to give it a go. It's millet. Yeah, and she's ha been having oat milk as well because actually that's the closest to the one that she was on, the growing up milk in stats wise so she's been having that one but we've heard that this millet milk is meant to be much better so we're going to try on that and see how it goes we are always researching and looking into options for what we feed story obviously raising her vegetarian we are very aware of what she's eating and how much nutrients she's getting and that kind of thing as she gets bigger we obviously need to up our knowledge <laughs> to grow with her so we are constantly learning and it's good for us as well to make sure that we're getting all the correct nutrients and it keeps us on track and knowing what we're eating and how healthy we're being and that kind of thing jay mentioned after stories doctor appointment the other day that the doctor sent us a document on Portuguese recommendations and guidelines on raising a vegan child and vegetarian and it was actually really informative wasn't it? Very positive, I yeah. expected it to be a bit negative but it was very positive and had lots of information that we already know. We are already doing everything that the article suggested so that was good yeah. <laughs> that we were doing it anyway without being told or without reading this document so we're on the right tracks with it which is all good. Hello. Oh, it's very bright, isn't it? There, I've blocked the sun for you. Is that better? Look at those big cheeks. Ready to try at a health store? See if we can find you a new milk. Oh, I just got there. All right, let's go. We're going to a new health store today called La Fo Natura. Another recommendation from our friend Vinny. He said that they've got some good stuff here, so let's have a check. This way. Hmm, nice little store, isn't it? It's smaller than the other one, but it's got a good selection of stuffs. Lots of little bars, little snacky things to eat. We could probably do one of those, can't <laughs> we? Or several. This is the one I'm looking for. Okay, we've got a bag of spoils. Go and sit in the sun. Nice and warm over here, isn't it? Yeah. You were being a bit of a noise maker, weren't you? Hmm? You want something to eat? A Donatini. A Donatini? <laughs> oh, is that Italian? What's a Donatini? <laughs> so that was actually a really good store. However, that millet milk that I picked up, I did a little bit of reading and I don't think that it actually has enough of the nutrients that Story's going to need. It's not fortified with anything. Yeah, which... one of the main problems for vegetarians and vegans is finding fortified foods that cover the things that certain meats give you because the animals have been fortified with them. And none of these milks had that because they were very organic. Great for us, but not great for a baby. So the search continues, eh? Yes. Unfortunately, that story milk we were getting before is the only one that's fortified with everything, isn't it? Yeah. So we're still looking. <laughs> yeah, still looking. We did, however, get this raw cacao powder, which is fortified with iron. Yeah, which that was one euro fifty-five. Pretty good. One hundred twenty-five grams. That is quite good. Got, got these biscuits. Story, some yummy biscuits. Yep. Yeah. A couple of fruity packs there for Story to gobble on. We've got this seed mix, which we're thinking about grinding up into a powder and adding to some of our foods. Yep. We've got this Provarmel milk, which is something that was recommended to us in a coffee shop in England. Great for frothing up in your coffees. 
and also an oat milk in there too. Prices aren't too bad either. This was actually really difficult to find even in England and here it's only €1.99 for this and the total order for everything was €15.34 so quite cheap isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is. worked out well. Story is gobbling down on some kiwi again. This is actually really good for her because it activates all the iron that she eats. They say that when a child is on a vegetarian diet they need to eat a lot of vitamin C to activate the iron that you do get from your food. So it's a good thing that Story eats a whole kiwi a day. <laughs> she loves them doesn't she? There's so many empty buildings here for rent. Be some booming business around here. I wonder if they're setting up for a bright future. Important point to make again though, the only reason why we found this place is because it's on Google Maps. If you're going to put your business anywhere, put it on Google Maps, please, so we can find it. <laughs> Where are you off to, little story? You going to the cafe at super slow speed? <laughs> we just found this place here, Wolf Pastelaris. Story's making her way over. I'm going to climb up the steps. You're good at climbing steps now, aren't you? <laughs> Look at that big girl. Yeah, sitting up at the big table. <laughs> no high chair. <laughs> this is the inside of the cafe. Very modern looking, isn't it, Sash? Wolf, yeah. It's good. Got these cakes. I don't know what they are. And some abatinados. The story's having... What's she having? Banana. Banana and chickpeas. Banana and chickpeas mashed together. <laughs> Sweet and savoury. Okay, now we're off. Stories back on the walk. <laughs> One handed is so much slower, but she gets more balance practice in. Don't you, Story? Real world exercise. <laughs> Real time speed. <laughs> this is how long it takes to get anywhere. <laughs> One day she'll be running. And we'll have to keep up with her. Oh, goodness me. We'll be here all day. Look at her taking her first steps in the world. It's funny to think that one day she'll be looking back on this footage, thinking, look at me, look how slow I was. Yes. Learning how to be an adult, eh? Learning how to be a person. Yeah, good girl. <laughs> Not quite a full toddler yet, are you? <laughs> Just to be more practice. Good girl. <laughs> Come on, sweet girl. Take more steps. Woohoo! <laughs> She's so happy with herself. Have a little wave between each step. Yeah, okay, here's a wave. Hello! Everyone gets a wave, don't they? Look where you're going. Oh no. You get the car, baby. <laughs> oh, imagine we all walk this slowly. Oh, a couple more steps. Beep. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> I'm such a happy girl. <laughs> Hi, Pat. No, no I gave up. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Right, we are now going to head to the big supermarket that's here to get some ingredients for dinner. We thought we would try and attempt to make some pizzas tonight. So we're going to get that and then we'll see you at home. And who's this? Mm. Is it eating a dog? Yeah, having a cuddle. Oh. What did you have to say to your sister? But <laughs> <laughs> We're just giving Eden a little bit of a sunbathe outside. Aren't we Eden? Getting a bit of love. Yeah. You're very pretty. Come to see Eden. Are you going to give her a stroke? Oh, good girl. You love Eden, don't you? And it's one of your first <laughs> words. It's Eden. It's Eden. Good girl. Oh. Oh. Good, girl. Good girl. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a head? Head. Oh. 
Yeah, it's your head, isn't it? I've got everything now, haven't we? And what's that story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a new potty. It's for you. You want to try sitting on it? Or just... I'm just going to play with it instead. I thought it would be a good idea to just have one in the house so she gets used to seeing it. Yeah. Uh, like now. Makes sense. She's going to be at an age soon where we will be considering doing this, so why not? <laughs> we also got a story one of these. It's a sippy cup straw device. It's about time we get story off of baby bottles, so we're going to try and get used to drinking her milk through this during the day, and then we'll see how it goes in the night and work out a plan. Do you want to try this out? <gasps> and suck the straw. Good girl. Good girl, yeah. Ooh. Yum yum. You have to drink all of that. It's your allowance. <laughs> yeah, that's a good girl. This is quite a difficult task as parents because we know she needs to consume 300 mils of this milk every day, but if she's not allowed to do it the regular way and she gets confused at this, it's gonna be really hard to make her go to sleep at night, it's gonna be hard to break her routine in the morning. So we're gonna to have to make adjustments too. Hopefully she'll just get used to sucking her milk through that straw. When you can have some, nice and warm for you. <laughs> Today we also got Story a set of crayons for her to play with. And some more paper. Paper, can you say paper? Nope, <laughs> never on camera. So she's just choosing a colour right now. Daddy's pre drawn her a little pig. What colour did you choose? Blue, azul. You gonna make some drawings? Okay, story's getting ready for bed, and I'm getting ready to make our pizza for dinner. I've got to make some dough, so let's get on with it. This is my favourite album at the moment by Ivan Torrent. Cinematic music is beautiful. Having some epic music in the background really helps me concentrate on my task. So let's get on with this dough making. How was your sippy cup experience? She's done well. Yeah? yeah. Not bad, eh? It's not dancey time, it's time for bed. <laughs> Is the music too epic for you? Woo! <laughs> oh, good girl. <laughs> Eden's sticking away as well. Right. Little Story has gone to bed tonight for the first time without a bottle and she's been fine so far. It's been an hour and she went straight to sleep so all good there. Chef Jay over here is in the final stages of pizza prep. On goes the pesto. Yum. Looking good eh? Yeah. I'm going to end the vlog for today. I think we might open a bottle of wine, the white wine that we bought yesterday. Maybe watch a film and enjoy our pizzas. Thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to check the links to see how you can become an eight miler. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Yummy.